Hello everybody and welcome to the first real vlog of this year. There's quite a few things we're going to talk about, stuff pertinent to the current series on the channel, upcoming series, and here's the storm in particular because I said I was going to be working on a guide series for that and I totally am still working on it and I wanted to get you guys updated on all that and stuff. So let's just jump right in with living the dream, right? So... Uh, I got the massively good opportunity. It's just like the best thing that has happened to me in gaming for like the past five years uh, to play Heroes of the Storm for over six hours with Day9 and Sheth. If you don't know who Sheth is, he's an ex-StarCraft uh, 2 player. He used to be with Team Liquid, is now with Cloud9 and uh, quite a few other really awesome people that I got to play with too. It's, it was a lot of fun and, and Six got to join in for a bit of that at the beginning. Uh, long story short is Day9, who most of you should know, because he's amazing and, and awesome, uh, was playing Heroes of the Storm for his day off and Six and I were watching the stream and saw him queuing up with two other people, including JP McDaniel, and I was I was kind of thinking like, oh, well, they're queuing up right now with those, that group. And if we pick these guys, we have a pretty high chance of either getting in their group or going against them. I mean, I would, I would have been fine either way. So Six and I queued up and happened to get in their, their, uh, their team. And uh, Six ended up leaving a couple hours or like an hour later because he had things that he had to do that day. But I ended up staying for the rest of the day and eventually joining them on Skype. And it was it was a lot of fun. So I'll put a link to those videos in the description to the basically the VOD of because uh, he was live streaming it. It's a VOD of, uh, of that all that happened. Uh, it started on part two because that's when Six and I actually got into the game and you could kind of watch it from there. It was a lot of fun. And if you guys don't know, Day9 uh, and JP and even Chef, for example, are all huge inspirations to me. You know, everybody has those people, especially on YouTube. All of your favorite YouTubers have those people that they watch that kind of inspire them to do videos. And Day9 is one of those people for me. I always watch everything he does because I think he's, uh, he's fantastic with his the way that he pushes his personality onto his videos and uh, it really inspires me to continue to do more so it was a huge amount of fun playing with someone who's basically one of my youtube heroes uh not to mention the fact that i watch a lot of or watched a lot of starcraft 2 professional stuff and loved liquid chef when he was team with team liquid and um uh, yeah, I love J.P. McDaniel because I watch all of his stuff too. So it was just a lot of fun. And uh, I would highly suggest watching it because there's a lot of funny stuff that happened. It was just, uh, it was good, good amounts of fun. Plus you get to see me with day nine. I mean, I had the biggest grin and I will continue to have the biggest grin for the rest of the month because it totally was, uh, was amazing and awesome. So second thing is the Here's of the Storm guide series, right? Now, I had mentioned this previously that I wanted to do a guide series to kind of teach people from ground level, new people into the game, especially now that beta has opened up. Uh, and you can buy your way in to beta, basically. It's not necessarily a good deal, but you're getting into the beta. So if you're really wanting to play, now's your chance, right? Plus, it's a good game. I, I think it's kind of worth it to start playing now. But the idea for the guide series was to get people from base level to being able to play well enough that they can, uh, you know, get to the higher ranks in the rank system once they're able to, you know, get into that. And... I have it all mapped out now. So I kind of did the same thing with the player guide series for Star Wars stuff where I mapped it all out. I know exactly which video will be where in the guide series. I know exactly how I'm going to go through and teach in, you know, the basics and then the intermediate stuff and then the more advanced stuff that you need to know about these kind of games, especially if you've never played a MOBA style game before, whether it be League of Legends or Dota, the original Dota, Heroes of New Earth, any of that kind of stuff, right? Heck, even Smite, for example. So uh, they will be called uh, Heroes of the Storm 101, 201, and 301, respectively. So 101 will be all the basic guides, 201 will be all the intermediate guides, and then 301 will be all of the more advanced guides. And it's going to be really good. I've, I've mapped it out good enough that I'm like, okay, I feel like anybody can get into this game. And just by watching a couple of videos, be like, okay, I feel comfortable enough to play with other people because the game itself, this genre of game, uh, is, puts a lot of people off, right? 
it's kind of intimidating to play with people, especially if they get kind of aggressive and you're just like, man, I don't want to queue up again. I want to play with these people who are just going to be super mean, you know, because I'm slightly new to the game and don't really know quite what I'm doing, even if I've maybe have played MOBAs before. You know, there's a big difference between League of Legends and Heroes of the Storm. So I feel like uh, those, those guide series will do a, a good job teaching those people. So those will be coming. Like I said, I got it all mapped out now, which means I can actually start filming and and doing all that and that will be coming out in the next week you may see the first uh, episode which would be really cool okay moving on from here's the storm even though i uh, love this game at the moment uh diablo 3 season 2 starts february 13th friday february 13th and if you happen to like Diablo or play Diablo, we still have our clan open. We have a lot of people in our clan, in fact, uh, for you know just the OSW guild in general. And if you want to join in on that, it's really easy. You can just either search OSW guild, or it should just be you could just search OSW, and I'm pretty sure it'll pop up uh, because that's like the clan initials. But then if if you can't do that, you could just add me on Battle.net. I don't really care. It's uh, Zen Kiki hashtag. 1747 so it's then kiki pound 1747 is my battle.net stuff and then i can get you an invite to the clan because we like in diablo we play it a lot actually you'd be surprised but we like playing with uh, other people especially with the new seasonal stuff it's going to be a lot of fun getting uh, up onto the ladder for that i have two characters currently on the the season one ladder so it'll be cool to get more characters on season two so if you're interested in that we're we still have open recruitment to our clan it's free to join there's nothing crazy about it and you get to play with with us when we're online like i said we do end up playing a lot and i do at the moment play more hardcore than i do uh the just normal characters so i don't know if i'll play too much hardcore at the beginning of season two but if you're into that then you know, we can probably make a couple characters. It'll be fun. And then finally, for this vlog, I just wanted to talk about, you know, January and February are kind of dry months as far as games are concerned. So there's not necessarily going to be a lot of new series on the channel. But you'll notice that, like, we're getting close to the end of Alien. Uh, Dragon Age is cooking on, you know, through. That's that's going to be a while before that's over because like, it's a very long game. I put 120 hours into that game before I beat it uh, on my own personal playthrough, and I technically didn't 100% it. I mean, I was really close, but I skipped over some stuff. So we're looking at close to 200-something episodes for, for that series. It's going to be a long one. Uh, maybe end of summer like that that series will be done it's going to go on for a while uh then we just have you know like don't starve that we just started uh project destiny is continuing on all this stuff right we have we have a lot of series that are on the channel but at the moment because so many games aren't coming out since the beginning of the year you won't necessarily notice uh new stuff but we do have some plans for new stuff that's coming out soon uh, in particular uh the oh gosh i don't even remember the name it's like bloodborne something like that it's that new game made from the same people who do dark souls and it's basically dark souls i'm pretty sure garrick's gonna do a, a series on that we've talked about it we have ideas for what's going to replace alien when that's out so you'll see new stuff just probably not till the end of february uh beginning of march so just figured i'd uh, throw that out there also if you're in the need for a new game if you're just like dying for a new game to play and you don't want to play heroes of the storm or diablo or anything like that it turns out dying light is really good Garrick and I have been playing the heck out of that game and we had zero expectations for it but it turns out it's it's really really fun especially if you have multiple people uh the story is it's well it's you know it's Techland they're the ones who did D Dead Island so the story is marginal but the gameplay is amazing so I would highly suggest it if you're looking for a game to play uh oh very last thing I had an idea because I love RPGs, you guys know this. I really like the role-playing aspect that I've kind of come up with, how I like create a story for my character, and then the, the decisions that that character makes then are influenced by all that, and like the dialogue options in the games and stuff like that are all influenced by the story and and how they're currently feeling in the story. It's just stuff like that, right? You've you've all seen that with the Star Wars stuff. You definitely have seen it with Dragon Age more recently. So my idea was that, uh, I'm just run this by you, give me feedback if you want to see it or not, is to do maybe some more hardcore RPGs, like some really dense RPGs, like uh, Wasteland 2, 
uh, Pillars of Eternity is going to be coming out. Uh, the the new Numenera game is going to be coming out. Like there's uh, this from the same people who do Wasteland too. So these games are like hardcore CRPGs where there's a lot of choices and there's a lot of different things that a character can do. And oftentimes you probably should write a backstory for your character. You know, like like Shadowrun is a good example of this as well because there's a, a lot of role-playing stuff that uh, end up happening there. So, you know, maybe maybe we'll check out some of those games. I think it would be pretty cool to really go in-depth in a deep RPG and kind of get get dirty with it, right? Because those, those games are really, really good, and the story is amazing, especially like Wasteland 2 and uh, Shadowrun and stuff like that. And in order to create a really good story, I would, I'd put a lot of preparation into it. And it, I, it just, it would be, it would be amazing, but I want to know if that's something you guys are interested in before I commit to playing through Wasteland 2, which would be like a, like a hundred plus episode series. It's a long game. And those, uh, it's also to keep in mind is those games don't necessarily have a lot of action going on in them. A lot of it's dialogue, a lot of it's story driven and the action that does happen, um, can sometimes be really short and other times it could, last several episodes you know so there's there's variance there so let me know if you're interested in that but with all of that being said check out our you know awesome time that we had with day nine it was uh it was really fun as you can tell i'm really happy about the fact that i got to play with him and it was kind of a, an accident that i queued in the first place and managed to get in his uh, team and and all that fun stuff so check that out uh once again links in the description there's more stuff coming on the channel i'm starting to live stream a lot more so keep an eye on our Twitter for that. And I think that's the last thing I needed to say. Yeah, looking forward to playing with you guys in the next season of Diablo if you're into that. And uh, if you're not, then keep an eye on the channel for really cool stuff. But with that being said, we shall see you guys next time.